a bruschetta. Yo, what is up, AD team? Austin Dunham back again with another video. In this video, we're gonna discuss the three muscle groups or muscles that you need to be training more, especially as a calisthenics athlete. Calisthenics has its pros and its cons. Pros being obviously getting body weight strength, um, doing cool moves and you know being very lean. But the cons is that it tends to focus on a specific or particular muscle groups and neglect the others. And if you don't put emphasis on these other muscle groups, you will overall become imbalanced. And my goal is to help you not become imbalanced. So with these three muscle groups, definitely be sure to do it. Let's get into the first one. All right, so the first muscle group is the hamstrings. Now the hamstrings can actually be done with a body weight variation. And my favorite one of all time is using the glute ham raise machine. And it's very similar to what you probably know as a Nordic curl. I think the Nordic curl is actually a little bit harder because you're using purely all of your hamstring strength in order to pull your whole entire body up. But with the glute hand raise machine, if you have one within your gym or your wherever you're at, you can kind of adjust it so that you can use a little bit more quads and a little bit more leverage to help get your body all the way up. I do this every single leg workout, guys. Now, alongside with that, I also do the typical hamstring curl machine. I mix both variations. I do the laying one and I also do the seated one. Both go a long way and both should, if you can, be included within your routine because think about it, the hamstrings are like the biceps of the legs. And with these other calisthenics leg exercises, there really are no direct hamstring type of movements to really target the muscle group. So if you're not careful, you could be um, overall lacking in the hamstring strength and muscular development department but include those exercises every single leg day, three to four sets, and you will actually build them up. Like I said, my favorite one is the GHR machine. And then when you become good at it, you can actually add a weight to yourself too. Second muscle group is the posterior chain. The posterior chain is not necessarily a singular muscle group, but more of a list of muscles within your whole entire backside. So, you know, your lower back, spinal, erectors, your hamstrings, calves, everything a part of that is included in your posterior chain and as often all of it is neglected within body weight training. Now the first exercise I told you will kind of target your posterior chain depending on how you do it but they're more direct towards the hamstrings. With the posterior chain, my favorite movement of all time, and you guys have seen it in my workout compilations or maybe on my story on Instagram, is the Romanian deadlift using dumbbells. Now you can do it with barbells, you can do it with a machine, it really doesn't matter, you just gotta find your own preference. The important part is, is that you perform the movement right. So I like to stand upright, have a slight knee bend as I go down, keep my chest up, and to kind of pretend that I'm pushing in a drawer with my backside and not doing a squat movement. Like it's really a hinge movement. You're hinging your hips back, feeling that stretch in your hamstrings, and then pushing your hips forward as you come up with the weight. And just like any other exercise, you wanna progress in this exercise to where you're actually um, doing more and more weight over time and really building up that posterior chain and the benefit of building up your posterior chain is that it's gonna to correlate to these other calisthenic skills like planche, um, handstand, all of that takes um, having a strong posterior chain, so do not neglect it at all, guys. Now, I talked about not neglecting these muscle groups and we're still gonna get into that, but if you're watching this right now, you're probably a guy within the range of 16 to 26 years old. Like the video if I'm right, but a part of that, you guys should also be having a skincare routine. Do not neglect your skin. And yes, how do I relate skin care to a muscle bending exercise? Well, I like to think of it as you're in the gym because you wanna look better. Looking better is not only your physique, your body, but it's also your face and your skin too. Now, as someone who struggled with acne and also body dysmorphia issues, such as being very, very skinny and underweight, I can tell you that both go hand in hand. So with that being said, this video is sponsored by T. Shanley, the best men's skincare system on the planet why because it is simple easy to use and it's quality ingredients plus it is affordable with the teach Hanley package you will get everything you need to have a complete skincare routine that doesn't break the bank and that doesn't complicate
dedicate skincare into a deep rabbit hole, right? All you need is a cleanser, which T. Henley comes with. And then from there, you use the serums, which they all have their different purposes. The first one um, avoids fine lines and wrinkles. And then you can follow up with the eye cream for your eye bags and dark under eye circles. And then from there, you just simply moisturize. Use the AM moisturizer uh, since it has SPF in it during the day. And then at night, you're gonna use your PM moisturizer. Do that consistently twice a day, three times a day if you have to, even after you come back from the gym. And you will see a transformation in your skin, your quality of your skin, how you're glowing and overall you would just feel better especially if you're doing all these other exercises to target these muscle groups that i'm mentioning in this video so if you don't have a skincare routine i'm gonna need you to click the link down below in the description and check it out because if you click the link on this video you're going to get an amazing deal alongside with a free gift on your first box so like i said don't neglect these muscles but also do not neglect your skin check it out link down below and the last one guys do not neglect the rear Dell. The rear Dell is something that really does not get a lot of love when it comes to body weight movements. Think about it. You're doing a whole bunch of push-ups, a lot of pushing exercises. You might be doing some vertical pulling, but for some reason, the horizontal pulling and the horizontal rows get the least love out of any compound movement ever. And with that being said, a part of those horizontal rows, you're going to indirectly target your rear delt. But that's not even enough in my opinion. You should be isolating your rear delts whenever possible. Now I'm gonna tell you two exercises that I love doing to do this the most effective way. The first one is using the TRX. You guys have seen it in my workout routines. I'm always doing the TRX class, right? Pull them apart, target the rear delt, get some extra stimulation, because I know that in order to have a complete balanced shoulder, I have to target my rear delt a little bit more than usual, because think about all the pushing exercises we're doing, right? We're doing push-ups, we're doing shoulder press, handstands. So much interior delt is getting stimulated, while the rear delt is getting neglected. So whenever you can, include those TRX flies, three to four sets on your pool days or your upper body days. And then if you want to, you can also supplement it with dumbbell um, bent over reverse flies. Or another favorite of mine is using the fly machine, the reverse fly machine, and doing that for a higher number of reps alongside with your horizontal rows and your horizontal pulling so that you get complete shoulder development and not any neglection for the rear delt. So, Guys, those were the three muscle groups that you need to start targeting right now to have a complete balanced physique, especially if you are a calisthenics athlete. Don't forget to do them in your team. Subscribe, like the video, and check out Teach Hanley below. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one. Peace.